Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the second week in November. Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus. I have the oracles, the animal spirit oracles for you. Messages at the end of the reading. Stick with me with that because they are very important. And going forward, we'll have the boardless deck of Rider White. Second week in November, what are those predictions? Capricorns needs to be here, needs to look up to and feel that they are coming. We have just a few days after this week that we will have a full moon in Taurus, a fellow Earth energy, which very much speaks about stability. A change towards stability. And to not forget, Scorpio season brings a lot of changes. And sometimes they are unexpected ones. Underneath, as overall energy, we have Page of Pentacles. Page of Swords. And Knight of Wands. Goodness. We have news this week, quite quick. For some of you, if you've been waiting for news or something you've been working on, that's coming quite quick. Could be work-wise, Capricorn. For others of you, if you are interested or on somebody or Put your eyes on somebody. They are also eyes on you. But the stronger energy is here that my Capricorn is waiting for some news. And they are coming. What I'm feeling here, this, this weight is worth. Okay, loves. Yes, this is your energy, and that's how you are feeling, Four of Wands. Like a celebratory energy here. Strength, Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and a King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, loves. I have been waiting for a job or for a person if you've been waiting here for somebody here make sure they are not just in and out of your life okay if you're waiting for uh, news from a job for or something financial wise they are coming and I feel here you've been waiting for quite a long time but it's kind of worth the weight, whatever it is. Let's see here, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands, and Seven of Wands. If you've been waiting here patiently for somebody, yes, they're coming, but I don't feel they are changed too much. Okay, so be careful, loves, okay? If it's an, an ex of yours and coming back Capricorn, there's an ending with that person. Because I feel here you, you might feel like, you know, if you're not going to change, we're done here. Because you are very much into your vibration that either we are, Together, either we are not a lot at all. What's the Knight of Wands here for? Judgment. There's something here you need to pay attention. And judgment very much speaks about open up your eyes. This is an awakening moment. And don't look for short term, but look for the long run. 
as well for some of you yes judgment speaks about the reconciliation they are coming in but are they are here to stay because they are coming quite quick quite fast the person if you are thinking of a person this person is not where you are they might be at the distance and they might come the most could be four days but the most is by the end of this month okay so be very careful if they are coming here because they might need you okay They might need some money for you from you or something like that. It's up to you if you allow them or not. Because I feel here whoever is this person could be a Sag, could be a Gemini, very strong energy here. I, I have Scorpio, Leo, could be another Earth sign or a cancerian but what i'm seeing here this person is two-faced or wear a false mask because they come in here and it's just like you know look how i feel i feel bad and things like that and on the contrary they start bitching around sorry for saying that but that's what i'm 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 hearing very strongly and you just kind of like are you serious Let's see. What's the advice for you, loves? You know this person. For some of you, if there's no new people, it's now my apology. If for some of you, if this person you never met and you are will meet this month. And is somebody who always complain of certain things know what I'm speaking that is this person. They are here to benefit something here from you. If you feel like, well, let me help this person because look, they are awesome, but look at this. I don't feel this person is quite consistent. So be careful, okay? Let's see. An advice and message for you, Capricorn. Temperance, take your time. Temperance, again, it's a reconciliation card. For some of you, this you've been dealing here with this person in another past life. If it's nobody from your past, this is a new person but comes from another past life. But it's more like to test you or your patience. And speaking of temperance, Archangel Michael here is trying to help you and protect you. And tell you that take it slow. Be patient. Because who is not patient will fade away quite quick. Having these two nights, the fastest nights here, this person could come fast and go as never been here. You know, like a dream. You wake up and it's not there, it's not real. That's how you will feel. So be patient, all right, loves. For some of you, that we speak about your connection with somebody that's coming in quite quick. For others, love-wise, Your patience is tested. Your groundness is needed. And if you are not looking completely at love or somebody out there, and you're looking more on your finances here, there is a lot of move. As we move into the Sagittarius season, there is a lot of good things coming to you. If you've been waiting for being stable or getting a stable job and you've been waiting probably for even six months, I feel here it's, it's just a matter of weeks till you're getting. And I feel here it's quite stable. 
okay one more card here as advice for my Capricorns seven of cups look for blessings feel yourself blessed and that's why whatever is here taking it slow you will grab the opportunities one after another one queen of wands six of pentacles and magician and the fool what I'm feeling here as the spirit says whatever is coming to you be confident magician can have it all whatever you want just put it there into the universe and have no expectations whoever comes to you think very very clear if you want them or not and if you want them why you want them All right, loves. Because I'm feeling here. There's a lot of movement, a lot of changes for you. And only you decide how to go with all of them for a very small percentage of you Capricorns I see you in between two people one is a fire sign one is an air sign if you've been dealing here in the past with an air sign they will come around to you And it's kind of they come out of the dead because you are broken up with them. And if it's a fire sign here, I don't feel here you are really consider them the one. And to have them or be around them, you need to be clear what you take with you into your future and what you leave behind. Okay, loves. Let's see here. An oracle advice for Capricorns. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Bring a gentle touch. Be at home. Be yourself. And enjoy your own energy. And chameleon spirit. Act as if. Be flexible. That's very, very important. And Scarabill Spirit, magic works through you. I feel here you have the power to change a lot of things because I feel here you are grounding and you are not just kind of like, I will let whoever comes to me just like that and that's good one step at a time loves one step at a time so yeah Capricorn that's how your predictions for the second week in November looks like 
don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and as well, know always that your feedback is very much appreciated. Love and light, many blessings. Namaste.